How you doing everybody? This is Daniel from HT Reviews and right now we're gonna have the beginning of one of the seven generals of the sea and this is from the saga of Poseidon and this is the Saint Seiya myth cloth and this is Siren Sorrento. This is made by Bandai and this is a Latin American version. So here we have one of the seven generals of the sea and the Poseidon saga and I have to say Siren Sorrento I think is the most beautiful cloth of the Poseidon saga but there's all of them are really really nice but Siren Sorrento the cloth I like it a lot and the flute and all that so it's great so as you can see there is the figure itself and there we have the animated form of Siren Sorrento the Bandai logo on the bottom but because this is a Latin American version you won't see the DTM until you're in the manual as you can see this is a green box and it's a book style kind of package like most saints say a myth cloth and it says on top same, same cloth myth the bottom siren scale the back is very interesting you have Siren Sorrento uh, playing his flute and then you have how to put the wings how to put the cape this figure looks great with the cape or not it just looks great uh, the object mode on the side is a Siren Sorrento and then you can put him on the style I'm probably gonna put the cape but I'm pretty undecisive because he looks pretty cool with the cape and with the wings and they show you to put him with the helmet with the face piece on and without it so here opening the box you could see that it says a uh, general on top Siren Sorrento or Sorrento on the bottom and you could see on side 8 or on your left you can see the figure itself, you see most of the parts of the cloth and the cape on the back and on the other side you see the object mode, uh, the skirts and the other hair. So let's open uh, this figure and uh, see the contents inside. So here we have side A, here's side Sorrento, you can see the headpiece, chest, shoulders, the figure itself, really nice, you see the arms and then you see part of the legs really nice part on side A. Now we're gonna go to uh, side B just remember on side A it does have the parts for the cape so uh, behind this plate there's the cape but I'll show you the cape on the figure when I do the figure. Here we have side B and you could see the hands from the one for the back for the wings there's the wings there's the other hair Here's the object mode, the waist, the skirt. Um, the flute is here somewhere, I think. Yeah, the flute is right there. You cannot see it with the glow. But the flute is right there. So this is side B. Let's go see the manual. Here are the instructions on how to make the object mode and the figure. Uh, this figure was uh, produced in 2007 and there were two generals before this one. It was uh, the Kraken and the sea dragon cannon so uh this is the third of their line uh, in 2007 uh, this was the third one being released um so here's how to put it really simple so let's uh give you the view of the object mode Here we have Siren Sorrento in all its glory. I have to say, it is a beautiful cloth. Beautiful cloth. And as you could tell, the the features of this cloth is just great. It is it's a mix of uh, like three different tones of gold and silver, which is tremendous. Uh, the face sculpt is great. Um, I did find in my copy because they are mass produced that um, some parts of the plastic parts were a little bit chipped off 
which was kind of a disappointment, but but it wasn't like a major chip off. That would be really, you know, getting me really in my nerves. But uh, other than that, uh, it is great. Hands are made great. The hands match some parts of the cloth, which makes it really good. You see, have the light gold and the like things. And here is uh, Sorrento with the wings. And as you could tell, it is really, really well made. You could see the side as we see the side right there it is really well made the head sculpture and the face sculpture is just beautiful the face piece looks great wings and everything it just looks great i'm gonna put the cape on on this figure and i'll give you a 360 look of this figure well i said i was gonna do a 360 uh, figure but the balance of this figure has been compromised so um I'm gonna tell you what's metal, what's plastic. So the face piece is plastic, the shoulders are metal, the chest is metal, the metal part is plastic, the waist or, or the little uh, skirt is metal, legs on top is metal with a little bit of plastic on the bottom and the hinges and the feet are dyke is metal. Arms has two pieces of plastic and two pieces of metal, as you can see, and with the cape. It looks really, really well done. Um, me, I think I'm gonna keep them with. Uh, it's because it looks great with both of them. Maybe I'm, I'm just gonna keep them with the cape, and from that, we'll go from there. So, 360 view of the cape. As you could see, it is really, really well done. It is a great figure. You see the side very slim. One of the many things you're gonna have problems with. Siren Sorrento is the weight issues. The feet really don't balance the cloth and with the wings is a little bit worse. And uh, it is pretty heavy. But overall it's a really well sculpted figure. It's one of my favorites of the seven generals of the sea. So let's go with my final thoughts. So here are my final thoughts of the Siren Sorrento, one of the seven generals of Poseidon. And uh, I just have to say it is a really well made figure. It is one of my favorite uh, generals of the sea, of the Poseidon Saga. It is really well made. Um, this is the Latin American version, but you could get a lot of other versions like the Hong Kong, Japan, and it depends totally up to you. Quality is a little bit different on each one, but they look the same. Um, a Japanese is the best one, is uh, my opinion. The Siren Sorrento looks beautiful in this cloth. It has a great articulation. The flute is a nice touch. Uh, the cape or the wings is one that you just have total control of. And um, it is a great touch. It's one of the most uh, cool things. I'm going to keep him with his cape. I, I think I like him more with his cape. The wings give him a good volume if you want to switch it. But uh, other than that, I mean this cloth is great i give it a 10 out of 10. you could get this at iShop to go the iShop to go has your uh saying say you needs and more so this has been daniel from hd review saying i'll see you on the next saint Seiya review